Okay, guys, this uh, video is just to address how to put the laminating film down onto uh, the EPP after it's been painted. You can see this airplane right now, it's sitting right around 8 ounces. I mean, that, that's just a sloper. I'm going to go ahead and take these um, and just cut the gear in after, you know, after I go ahead and laminate them. It's real simple. You can see the haze of the 90 over the paint. This just helps the lamination film have a good place to stick to. It doesn't like to stick straight to the paint, so I gave it a little bit of medium to go ahead and do that, and it works really well. So I'll show you what I have here. I, got, I have another one Ron did in red, and basically it's EPP sanded really well. After it's sanded, you give it a coat of the 90. After the 90, you give it a coat of paint. You can see it's just spray tan, nothing special, just enough to give it some color. He's gone through and he did the bottom in black. It looks pretty cool. It's just something simple. You want to use, you know, the paint sparingly. You don't want to add a bunch of weight. Um, lighter colors are going to cover the paint. I mean, cover the EPP even lighter. So, you know, Ron didn't go crazy and try to make this whole thing black. He left some out just to save in some weight. Um, and then this plane here, this is the same thing, except this one's been laminated. It has all the gear sitting on it and all the gear to get this thing ready to fly. And this is just a sloper, mind you. It's a 50 inch TL, comes out at 23.5, 23.4 ounces. That's awesome. That's super, super light. These slopers usually come out about 27, 28 ounces. The only thing I'm going to do is put about a quarter ounce of weight or so just to finish the elevons when I do that. Maybe I'll put a quarter ounce to a half ounce more weight on this plane and this thing's going to float like a feather. But it's super light. The trick on this is, is after you get it laminated, you can go ahead and lay your gear on the wing, draw it out, cut the lamination out of the way, cut it, cut all your gear in, stick it in. After you stick it in, go ahead and uh, maybe make some foam pieces to go directly over the gear or just laminate right over it, whatever works for you. So I'm just going to leave the rods exposed. I'm not going to bury them on this build. The battery will be in the wing, and it will be capped with a piece of foam, and then I'll we'll go ahead and trim the foam down to match the contour of the wing, and then I will tape that foam off a little bit so it doesn't have any lamination exposed around it. Then I'll spray paint the foam a little bit, give it a little 90, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, laminate right over the battery, and you'll never even know where I put it. I just ba might barely be able to see it. So the process is to laminate these airplanes. Step one, have all your gear in or have all your painting done, and then you can laminate. But what you want to do first, before you put any paint down, you want to go ahead and spray the whole wing with 3M90. Once the wing is sprayed with 3M90, then you can do a light coat of paint over the entire wing or wherever you want it. Then let the paint dry. After the paint's dry for a while, it flashes off. Go ahead and give it another light coat. Another light coat of 90. You can see it on the wing. After it has a light coat of 90, and go ahead and put the laminating film down. Start at about 225. Work your way up. You'll go ahead and see that it that it uh, you know really goes down nice. The 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 glue the 3M90 gives it a nice medium to stick to. Um, the clear turns around and makes this color glossy. These bright colors look really cool once they're covered. Um, if you want a smoother finish, um, you can go ahead and, you know, after you uh, get the wing together, you can go ahead and sand the whole wing down with uh, 150 maybe or 200 with a palm sander, electric, sand it all down. Then you can go ahead and glue it and then go ahead and paint it. And then if you want to give it a light, a light sanding after you paint it, before you put the next coat, of 90 on it, you can do that too. It just makes the film go down even smoother. But here you guys go. Very simple description on how to put the lamination down. Um, you know, sometimes I find that people will do the top of the wing in four pieces. They'll do half, this half of the wing over here to the left in one piece. Then they'll go ahead and do a center section from here to here and do that in laminate. And then they'll come out from the from the center of the right wing and go ahead and do it. And then they're wrapping the leading and the trailing edges by about an inch or so. Um, if you do that, it keeps the distortion down a little bit on some of these longer, skinnier wings. It's, it's up to you. 
you can cut the cut the laminate out in four pieces and then do it in four pieces and the distortion is going to be less. You overlap it by about a quarter inch and once you laminate over the other laminate you can't even see where your joints are. So if that makes it easier for you, do it like that too. So, alright guys, let me know what you think. If you have any more questions, let me know. Later.